Hey, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to check out near Portwell's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott waves, classic TA, and also indicators. Now, in the long term, I should tell you that in here I am absolutely 100% bullish because I think this is a one, two, three, four, five wave in Pulse West Russia on the upside, probably in form of an expanding leading diagonal. I know this seems like a wedge Russia, but this chart is actually on logarithmic scale at the moment. If you put it on regular, you will see that this is indeed an expanding leading diagonal into a larger degree wave one. And then to somewhere around the lowest low, probably we are going to have an ABC in form of a zigzag into wave two. And according to this scenario, after our move down into wave two is over, or who knows, maybe it's actually over already. We are going to get a big move up into wave three and four and five. And just a minimum target for this wave three, in my opinion, is going to be setting an all time high and taking the highest side in here about, let's say, 21, 22 dollars. So, as you can see, in the long term, we are definitely bullish. And by the way, no, just because. I put the end of this wave 5 to somewhere around $700. It doesn't mean that we're going to go there. No, these are just to show the general patterns, which again, in the long term, in my opinion, are very, very optimistic. Now, what about the midterm? You see, if you want to argue, for example, we are going to have our final bottom around this area, and maybe this is going to be like a very important support. Okay, off of it, you need to be able to find a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave on the upside. We can have different kinds of five waves this thing right in here is going to be a normal one the rules for it are we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave two and wave four and in any kind of impulsive movement wave three right in here shouldn't be the smallest wave and four sub waves we should find five wave up into wave one three and five let's just draw the waves there we go and this is our final five wave into wave five and for corrections for wave two and four we can consider different possibilities let's say sure. an abcs rusher into wave four and yep a w x y into wave two and if we can find this whole structure with all the sub waves we can say maybe in here even in the midterm we are going to be bullish and say the bottom is set under suit nice because we are now going to count some sub waves and see what is going on in this area so What's happening as you can see off of the low slope we do actually have a five wave on the upside and followed by that a correction down and we can count in this move up also another five wave up now if you want to be optimistic and you want to be bullish you can say this is one two three and at the moment we might be on our way to have a correction as structure into wave four and after this correction is over we're gonna get another big move up into wave five but as you can see right now because we're not having this wave 5 rushing in here makes sense to be a bit cautious in near protocols price chart and so far we can say to somewhere around this high right in here about let's say nine dollars this is going to be maybe just a very simple a b c in form of a zigzag structure but this thing at the moment is not confirmed yet when will it get confirmed when we get a move down in our time to take this low right in here about let's say two and a half dollars if we take this low and if we get especially that move down from the current point at that point we are going to be able to say that this is going to be again just a very simple abc a correction on the upside off of the lowest low and not an impulsive movement and it means more like than not we are going to continue this move down in an attempt to set new lows and take the lowest low in here about let's say 95 dollars so for now in my opinion, we can actually be bullish in near price chart as long as we're not seeing a move down in an attempt to take the slow. Now, let's zoom in a bit more and see what is going on in the short term in this area. Let's go on H4 time frame. There we go. So here is what I have in my mind. For this pattern on the downside, we can consider many, many different possibilities. For example, I can tell you what, well, okay, maybe this is going to be like from this point an A, B, C, S rusher down, followed by that, a correction on the upside, 
maybe another ABC, maybe a W exploit doesn't really matter. And this might be another zigzag on the left side, which basically means, well, okay, we are going to have in here a W, X, Y in form of a double zigzag. And basically our move down is actually over. So right now, should we go with this scenario? In my opinion, not yet. You see, I believe in the short term, at least at the moment, Elliot waves doesn't really matter that much and we should pay a lot a lot more attention to classic technical analysis meaning support and resistances why because in terms of classic ta in weekly and daily time frame at the same time we are having an unbelievably important support area right in here between let's say 4.9 to about 5.1 dollars and if you see near doing something like this Maybe we're going to go under it and then pull back and a continuation of the move down in an attempt to take this low. At that point, we're going to say, okay, unfortunately, this is going to be a very, very important bearish confirmation that suggests we are going to continue this move down right in here. And the next target, well, that's actually going to be about maybe 25% lower between, let's say, three and a half to about 3.7 dollars right in here so this is a very important point if you see near getting a very solid break of this very important area well okay you can count on a solid continuation of this move down right in here and you can argue maybe this is going to be even in case that we're going to have a correction from this side right in here starting from this point a one two three four five wave down Followed by that, we may have correction up and ABC, and then maybe another one, two, three, four, five, maybe a correction in form of ABCDE, a triangle structure, and yet another five wave on the outside in order to complete the sub waves for a one, two, three, four, five wave impulsive structure on a high degree. And even on a high degree, you can say this is going to be from this high an A correction for wave B, probably in form of an ABC expanded flat and another five down into our C leg. And assuming that again, this whole pattern is going to be a correction and structure, technically this can be fair enough a W X Y in form of a double zigzag. So you see, even if we get a solid break of this level in the midterm technically we can still be bullish but again if we break this very important support area chances are in the short term this move down is indeed going to continue for quite a bit now what is going on in terms of indicators let's go on some higher time frames zoom on a bit more excuse me there we go okay as you can see this is not necessarily a good sign because in MACD we are having a sell signal which is definitely a bear sign and in stock RSI, we are having a buy signal. This is good. But as you can see, at the moment, it seems like that we are also getting a sell signal in here as well. But this thing is not confirmed yet. We need to wait until the end of the week. And at that point, if we're going to have this signal, and at the same time, we're going to break this very important support area. Well, okay, you're going to be bearish with quite a bit of confidence and say our move down most likely is not going to be over yet. And in daily time frame, in MACD, we recently got a sell signal, a bearish sign, and in stochastic RSI, what do we have? Is this a buy signal? As you can see, unfortunately, not yet. So, at the moment, in Nier's price chart, we can consider in terms of Elliott waves many, many different possibilities. Some of them suggest that the bottom is in, some others suggest that we are going to continue this move down, but in my opinion, at the moment, we should pay attention a lot more to classic technical analysis, meaning support and resistances, and again, if we manage to get a solid break of this very important support area, which is from weekly and daily time frame at the same time, at that point, we're going to say chances are this move down is indeed going to continue for quite a bit. And the next target might be all the way down here between three and a half to about three point seven dollars. So I hope I explained everything well and you understood what is going on in near protocol's price chart. Anyway, 
If you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some solid TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.